welcome to pavitra laptop care see today's topic is on board ram disable here is a question to some technicians who are interested you can answer to me in what are the companies you are able to see the on board rams dell hp lenovo acer asus what are the companies having on board rams maximum so here is a question to all so who are interested you can put it in comment box okay i'll come to the topic see on board ram what it is why it's required to disable I mean what is the reason for disabling hmm? why it's required disabling okay first we come to know what is on board ram and what are the advantage of this on board ram see some of the companies are making on board ram series even they are giving external ram slot also okay along with this on board ram they are providing external slot some of the companies are giving on in uh, some of the motherboard you unable uh, to see the on board i mean external ram sodium see usually the on board ram indication with md memory down okay in uh, if you have external slot that one mentioned as sodium sodium is nothing nothing but slot external slot md md means memory down okay memory down is nothing but on board ram this is the difference okay the one more major difference compared to external ram with the on board ram see on board ram why it started actually compared to external uh, ram slot the speed of the on board ram is more better and very fast and very flex flexible and uh, what is that the uh, manufacturing cost will be reduced so these are the reason these are the advantage it has really i also recommend on board ram but the thing is in laptop series the on board ram it's getting failure it has many reason reasons so it's uh, depends on frequency it's there will be mismatch okay these are newly they are not newly it's almost old but it's not that failed one it's still they are doing r&d things hmm? see why it got failed some because of frequency mismatch or the on board chip it's coming out from the motherboard in some cases hmm? 99% its frequency mismatch due to the frequency mismatch okay leave it it's a uh, depends on manufacturer and the designers uh see now why technicians required on board ram disabling how we can do it what are the ways see on board ram disabling why it's disabling directly you can put the ram in a slot external ram slot also you will be having right so why can't you use that you can use that and you can directly switch it on no you can't run the laptop without disabling the on board ram for this it's required on board ram disabling why without uh, on board ram disabling you can use it right there is a logic due to that logic we are first we need to disable the on board ram see what is that logic on board ram having primary memory thing means the primary memory it's the motherboard considering this is the primary uh, memory the processor will start with this on board ram 
without that onboard ram it won't work in case if you have the onboard ram that will be the primary the svodm slot that one will be considering as a secondary memory okay always first preference goes to the primary if you disable the primary then you can make the svodm as a primary without disabling this primary the svodm will be considering as a secondary okay it's not a primary for this reason you need to disable the ram you got my point right onboard ram now once again i'll tell you the onboard ram will be primary not secondary if you go for svdm that will be secondary memory that you have to make it as a primary then only you can use it you got my point right so okay this is the reason you are going for disabling the ram okay disabling how you will do the disabling part hmm any idea what are the ways there are two ways one is through the software other one is through the hardware see in any way you have to make it primary right both the condition i'll explain you in generally in detail uh, see in case of software so many tricks are there actually uh, not so many it's only one trick is there so in the software in the bias in the bias the particular memory you have to find it out so what the memory chip has built in in your motherboard according to that model you need to search in motherboard and you need to disable it disable how the memory selection uh what is that uh, part will be there no all you need to put ff means 000 zero zero zero. Hmm? you need to the simple way is you need to delete the information of the ram onboard ram so in future with bias using that uh, disabling uh ram in bias i will make a video and i will show you in detail okay here general information i am giving so you need to search the memory model in the bias and you need to delete it that is the one concept second concept through hardware how we can do through hardware for that you need to check the schematic and you need to identify the component where it is where exactly it contains i mean the position of the particular register or what are the changes you have to make those things okay in if you come to the hardware part there will be a ids what id is you know that graphic ids uma are discrete like that similarly the ram ids also will be there ram ram ids what are those see i opened a schematic here for example eg521 slash eg522 motherboard schematic document lcfc confidential okay in this in this how we can disable the ram first we need to identify what is the ram is here it's in built ram is there or not we can first you need to identify see just i already told you there are two kind in memory chip see one is svdm second one is memory down memory down is the onboard ram it has four pieces here svdm only one slot is there externally one slot it is there hmm? it supports 1.2 volts ddr4 2133 speed okay it means ddr4 memory down it means it's a page number 17 if you go to page number 17 here this particular information you will get okay now i'll come to the point how you can do the memory disable 
see the logic i will tell you the page number 17 right yeah it's a page number 8 see i told you the board id board id see so many board ids are there was zero one two three four five six seven eight here if you come to the board id see it's a board id zero and one just a minute See ID six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you come this part, so here is the RAM section. See board ID six and seven is the RAM section. How it's a RAM section? See here is the Samsung eight GB, Hynix eight GB, Micro eight GB. That I told you on board. What are the chip? Memory chip will be there. According to that, this particular board ID we can identify. Here, board ID six. What it contains? There are two. One is high and one is low register. What are those registers? Ten K registers. See, any ID you go, minimum ten K register will be there. Okay, that. 3 volt supply will be there if you want high in a position then 3 volts vs will be high otherwise it will be low okay the board id now in detail i will tell you see this is the board id 6 and 7 description see carefully you need to check what is this description in onboard ram there will be samsung chip that is the 8 gb Okay, the speed is 2400 MT. In case it has Samsung RAM, I mean uh, memory chip, then the board ID will be low. Low in the sense the 3 VS should not come to this particular ID. Okay, okay, well, how it will be low? That is the point. See, low, low means here two resistors I told you. Many ids are there in that see here it has mentioned rc is the register rc is the register rc 1634 and uh, 1635 this should be there means it has to be low 1634 where it is here is the 1634 and 1635 here it should not be there if the register will be here then you need to shift this particular register to here and second thing is you need to shift this particular register to here for what for samsung 8 gb memory chip okay in case of hynix 8 gb in case of hynix 8 gb first one should be low second one should be high means rc1634 should be low here present it should be present 10k register should be present and here it should be absent because in this particular id this id 6 should be low so next here 0 1 has given right 1 means 1632 which id it's a uh, 7 see id is 7 1632 should be present it's a 10k register should be present and second one should not be there should not present okay the similarly the 10 10 micron company micron company 8 gb here one in the sense 1631 1631 see here only two ids are comparing here 1631 should be present and second one 1635 should be present here because it has to be in low condition and here this particular register should not be there got my point so here one more thing generally i will tell you this thing is very very important this is the ram disabling technique sod only c 11 11 means high high the two register should be in high position 
so what are those registers rc1631 and rc1632 see r613 sorry rc1631 and 1632 if these uh, these registers are present then the particular on board ram will be disabled got my point on board ram will be disabled when rc1631 and rc uh, rc1632 should be present if we give the voltage 3 volts to this particular ids then internal ram should be disable mode and what are the external ram that uh, sodium slot will be the primary okay here it is so that's it this is a very simple topic so you understood or not that i don't know put it in comment box okay thank you thank you very much